him. So we got a no heat call. Um, first thing we're going to do is we're going to check for uh, low voltage between R and C. I got nothing. Uh, if I check high voltage uh, between line and ground, I do have high voltage. And now I do see this wire here. And there's a spade broken off. And there's a broken spade right there. And where's the transformer? I think it fell down there. So let's see what's going on. How that happened, I don't know. Let's see. I don't see a transformer down there. Well, I'm gonna kill the power and try to find a transformer. But it looks like the, low, the secondary side that plugs into the board ripped off. So that's gonna be an interesting repair. So pretty much I have to change the board. But let's find that transformer first and we'll go from there. Okay, so I found the transformer. It was hanging down there. If you look at these brackets right here, it looks like the bracket snapped. And this is like pretty heavy and it fell and it ripped off one of the spades off the board. So basically the board's not receiving any low voltage so it can't, it can't do anything. So, um, yeah, and there's no other place I can put that. So yeah, so it looks like we're SOL. We're gonna have to replace the board. I'm gonna recommend that we change this board uh, so they can have some heat. So um, basically this is the common, this is the hot and that's still intact. So if I plug it into here, which is the C terminal, it should come back on. So we're gonna do that and see what happens. Uh, we're still gonna recommend changing the board, but this might at least get them going for now. Okay, so we've closed the circuit. We should be getting power now. All right, we got a light, that's a good sign. All right, lower is running. Ooh. I don't know if you can see that, but it is vibrating pretty violently. So that explains what caused this to fly off. So we may have an issue with the blower. So I'm gonna go ahead and check that out. Okay, so I pulled the blower out. Everything seems to be secure. Uh, and it's not, it hasn't separated from the hub or anything like that. Yeah, it's on there. I think the wheel is just unbalanced. Yeah, so we have an unbalanced wheel. So I'm going to recommend we change out the wheel, the board, and uh, go from there because now I can't get them any temporary heat or anything. So that's awesome. Uh, not really, but yeah. Okay, so we got the wheel out. Um, nothing's falling apart, but I did notice that some of the blades here are like super loose. Usually it should be a little bit stable, so I think that's what's causing the unbalance. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get the new wheel in there, but first I'm gonna go ahead and clean this out. Yeah, I don't see any pieces of metal, so that's good. So yeah, we're gonna clean this out, and then also I noticed that the assembly itself is a little loose. Probably from the vibration, it just shook these screws a little loose, so we'll tighten all that up. We're gonna give it a good wipe down, and then put it all back together. Okay, so here's our new wheel. As you can see, I'm pushing on it. It's not wiggling as much as the other one, so it just feels tighter. It's hard to show this in video, but this is much tighter than the other one, so I think that's why it was all out of whack. I did find that some of the edges here have been cut. I don't know if you can see that. But at some point, it did make contact. So anyway, we're gonna install this get the blower back in there and then um, they did opt to change the board even though I got the board to power back on um, I let them know that you know it works but technically it's not the real way of making it work so I let them choose if they wanted to change the board or not and they chose to replace the board so we're switching out the board too all right so we're gonna go ahead and fire it up um, got the board connected transformers mounted there's still okay we got power so that's a good sign here goes the blower. 
and it's not vibrating all crazy, so I think we're good. So we definitely had an unbalanced blower wheel. But the fact that the, the veins on those on that squirrel cage was so loose, I think that's why it was shaking so bad. All right, cool. So we're going to go ahead and fire up the air. We're going to fire up the uh, heater just to make sure everything's working. Okay, so we're calling for heat. Um, and the blower is running full blast because the power, there was no power. And when you call for heat and you engage power, it's going to give you a status code 12. So it's going to be one flash and two flash. So there's one, one, two. So that's normal. That's whenever you're calling for heat when the power was off. Um, after it does, it, it'll run the blower for like 90 seconds and then it'll go ahead and call for heat. So we'll be back once that's done. Okay, we got our inducer, pressure switch closed, igniter's getting hot, gas valve's gonna open, and the gas was off so there might be air in the line so it may not light the first try. It looks like it did. No major vibration so that's great so yeah so the blower wheel went out of whack caused crazy vibration shook parts of the blower housing loose shook that thing where the foot broke off fell in ripped off the low voltage side of on the circuit board and killed power to it all because of a um, unbalanced wheel so sometimes you can find symptoms but you got to go look around and to find the cause which in this case was the blower wheel that caused all this issue so yeah anyway hope you like this video hopefully it's helpful if you come across this situation uh, but thanks for watching make sure to like and subscribe comment tell me what a horrible technician I am hit that bell notification and follow me on Instagram and Facebook thanks for watching